using the split tool in Autodesk Inventor Professional 2012 for use in stress analysis and also Autodesk Simulation 2012 stress analysis. The, the use of the split tool plays a very important part in the modeling of components in order to be able to select the proper faces when the part or component is brought into stress analysis. My first example here, I'm going to start off with a simple yoke. As you can see, I created a sketch already. What I'm going to do is extrude this. I'll select that circle and I'll select that circle and I'll do this mid plane. Click OK and what I'm going to do is share that sketch. And what I'm going to do is just extrude the center part mid plane quarter of an inch. So what I've created here is a yoke. Roughly three inches on center. You can see the other dimensions. But let me hide that sketch for now. So with the split tool, what's important is if I bring this component into stress analysis and I go and apply a load as is right now, what's going to happen is that load is going to be applied basically around the circumference of that bore. So what I want to do is apply a load in here, I could say roughly about 500 pounds, 800 pounds, and that load is actually going to be in the negative x direction. If I look down here at my 3D triad, I can see positive x is coming out this way. So that force is going to be in the negative x direction. And again, I'm just hovering over the, over the board and I can see the entire face is highlighted. If I want to add a fixed constraint back here, again, I can see the entire bore is highlighted. But what I'm really looking for is half of that circle, 180 degrees. So if I stick a rod through here, and I stick a rod through here and I apply that five or eight hundred pound forces, what's going to happen is this becomes compressive and we will then see a gap in here. Same on the end here with the fixed constraint. We will actually see a gap in here where this side of the bore will be up against the shaft. So in order to split those faces in this situation what we could use are our work planes. If I go into my origin planes I have my YZ here and just for the time being I'll turn on the visibility. And I, I also have my XZ. I'll right click and turn the visibility on there. So when I use my split tool what I'm going to do is wind up with different quadrants. Same thing in the back. I want different quadrants where I can apply my constraints. So the last thing I need to do here is to apply a work plane three inches over. So I'll click work plane, I'll select this plane, three inches, and now I have my work plane created. Go up here to split tool. What I'm going to do is split the face. I have choices of trimming a solid, splitting a solid, but what I just want to do is split the face. So what is my split tool? Well, my split tool will be that. And what faces am I going to split? I'm going to split that face. If I click OK now, hover my tooltip, I will see that I am now 180 degrees split. I'm going to repeat that same procedure. Here's my split tool. And I'm going to split that face. Now I'm working with different quadrants. I'll split this down here. I'll apply that. And then one more time, I'll split the 180 degrees. Let me turn off the visibility of my work planes. 
I have one more down here. So here's one face, here's the other face, here's one, and here's one right here. I'm going to save this real quick, apply a material. Let's just pick a mild steel, click OK. If I enter into stress analysis, let me create a simulation. I'm going to do a static analysis. I'll click OK. So for my constraints, for fixed, I can come in here and select those two surfaces. That is what is going to be fixed. I can click OK. I can now enter a force. I can select that face. I can select that face. Vector components. So here I could apply a negative, if I wanted to do 500 pounds, be a negative 250 because I have two faces. I could do them separately, force, select that face, vector components, and because I'm in a negative x direction, I could apply 250. And also here, basically the same thing, click OK. Mesh, I could see I got a pretty coarse mesh for the time being, but that's fine. I could run my simulation at this point. So I can see my von Mises here, I'm at approximately 13.7 KSI, which would roughly be very small, about 6 tenths, and my safety factor, I'm at about 2.9. So that's one of the key reasons of using the split tool, especially in stress analysis and also Autodesk Simulation. I could bring this right into simulation and duplicate the same loading conditions. Let me just show you another example here on the same part. What I want to do is just create a sketch right on this face. I'm going to draw a slot in here. Let me just sketch out a slot. Let me just set up a couple constraints here. And that this is all horizontal. A couple of dimensions. Make it inch and a quarter. Let's say from here to here will be one inch. Or how about I'm trying to put it on center? And let's say that point two. Good enough. So what I want to do is I want to create a slot through here. I'm going to extrude cut that through. So what I want to get at here is what if we have a bolt that goes through this slot here? I'm going to put a bolt and a flat washer. We're going to clamp this down right in this area here. And maybe we're going to create a moment. Put a load on the top of one of these surfaces here. So we want to check the clamping force. Make sure that the clamping force is going to be strong enough you know, in order to uh, hold that moment, hold it from rotating about the center. 
So what you would actually want to do in a situation like this, is you want to create the sketch on the front face here. You want to draw a circle that basically represents the diameter of the flat washer. Let's just say for all practical purpose, 8125 is the diameter of the flat washer. Okay, I can finish my sketch. I could use my split tool, split that face, click OK. That there would represent my constraints. If I was to bring this into stress analysis, these split faces now become my constraints. So very important for the use of the split tool for stress analysis with an inventor professional and also order to simulation. I have one other real quick example here. I have a little bracket here and I'm going to mount a motor up on top of this bracket. There's four bolts that hold this little motor on and these feet get bolted down. Now that motor is going to create a frequency. So this part here would be used in the modal analysis for frequencies. So in order to add the motor here, basically what we're looking at is the area of that motor. Where that motor bolts up here, that would be the affected area. So very simple, I could create a sketch on that top surface there, I'm going to draw a circle, and my motor diameter is 34.5. That is the area that I'm concerned about. That is the OD of the motor, which is going to create the frequency. So very simple, finish my sketch, go to my model tab, use my split tool, and split that face. I am now dealing with two faces. So this has been using the split tool with an Autodesk Inventor Professional 2012 for stress analysis and for stress analysis within Autodesk simulation.